confirmed in your life that you can endure? Hasn't he affirmed that at the end of the day, you can make it through? At the end of the day, you don't have to give up. At the end of the day, you can get through the obstacles. At the end of the day, you can make it even through unchangeable situations. God can give you a second win in places that you never imagined existed and through people that you never thought could help you out. He's affirmed that for those who wait on the Lord, there's renewed strength in your future. For those who wait on the Lord, there's renewed promise in your future. For those who wait on the Lord, weariness will not be your fate. You'll be able to walk out there alive and well because God can give you the second wind that you need. But he's asking you, but he's asking you, do you have the strength to endure? Can you endure through it? Can you be in, can you have endurance? Can you work through it today? Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit today. Stand up on your feet today. I'm finished. That's the message. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit today. Don't lose focus. And never lose hope. Because see, your endurance produces character. And when you have character, you build hope. And what's hope going to do for you? Hope shines brightest when the hour is darkest. Hope motivates when discouragement comes in your life. Hope energizes the body when it's tired. Hope sings when all the melodies are gone. Hope believes when evidence is eliminated. Hope listens for answers when nobody's talking. Hope climbs on the, on the obstacles when nobody is helping you out. And hope endures hardships when no one is caring. And, and my hope is in the Lord today. Is your hope in the Lord today? Just bow your heads today. Grab your neighbor by the hand today. My hope is in the Lord today. I will endure. You will endure today. You can make